Alloying a pure metal with interstitial impurity or solute atoms reduces the mobility of dislocations and thus increases the metal's strength. The dislocation imposes lattice strains in the vicinity of the dislocation line, compression above the line where the atoms are squeezed together, and tension below the line where the atoms are pulled apart. Now, we'll introduce a relatively small interstitial impurity atom into the lattice. Even small impurity atoms are usually larger than the interstitial sites in the lattice, and as a result, introduce compressive lattice strains on the adjacent host atoms. This solute atom will wander or diffuse through the lattice, and will be attracted to the tensile strain region near the dislocation and just below the end of the extra half plane of atoms. The compressive strain field surrounding the solute atom will partially cancel the tensile lattice strains imposed by the dislocation. As a result of this relaxed strain field, a greater externally imposed shear stress is required to move the dislocation than is necessary in the pure metal. Macroscopically, this results in increased strength and hardness.